A big part of modern day web design, especially for web agencies, is site management and automation. Having to go through the long repetitive process of plugin and theme installs, then managing the licenses for all of those plugins and themes, and so on, can be very time wasting. So, fortunately, Ryan Lee, the creator of Gutenbricks, he came up with a solution that can help you to manage your multiple websites from a single UI. Let's take a look at the software he created called Right Place. Assuming you've already purchased your license, the first thing you need to do is log in to your YWP customer dashboard. Then under the dashboard, you go to your downloads. For now, this is still in pre-beta. You can go ahead and download for your OS version. At the moment, we only have for Windows and for Mac, but the Linux version is coming out soon, so watch out for that. Then you can go ahead and download it and you install it the way you normally install your plugins. If you are logging in for the first time, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen that asks you to create your account. Simply go ahead and enter the email that you used to purchase the Right Place app and then choose Validate Purchase. Once you do that, you'll be greeted with a next screen that asks you to add the authentication code that will be sent to your email. After you've verified your purchase by typing in the authentication code, the next step is to complete your account setup by filling in your first name, your last name, and your new password. Then go ahead and create account. Once you've completed your initial setup, you can now go ahead and manage your WordPress websites. I've already installed some websites into Right Place, but we'll not be using those. I'll go ahead and create a new one. So I'll click on add new website. Then I'll add the host URL, which is the base URL of the website I want to add. Then I'll also add the login URL, which is basically the slug for the login. By default, it is wp-admin. Then the name is what shows up in the dashboard. So I'll call it something like, maybe blank in this case, something that is memorable to know which website you're working on. Then you can give it some categories. These are basically like tags in WordPress. So you can simply just start typing. I'll start with the testing and I'll press enter. That adds the new tag and you can add multiple tags. I'll just leave it at testing. Then I'll click connect. So now that it's connected, the next thing we need to do is to sign in. So I'll click on sign in and we'll be presented with the login page. But rather than logging in, here is the first feature that has been added and that is the ability to manage your login credentials. I'll go ahead and click on the button in the top bar to expand the right panel. Then I'll click on the Access Vault. And that is where we can manage our login credentials. So you see the user account. I'll click on Add New. And that is attached to the blank website. The nickname, I can give it any name I want. So I'll say DD. Then the username is your login username. And the password is your login password. Now add the account. Once you do that, you no longer need to remember your login details. All you have to do is click on the user account you've created. So I'll click on it and it will automatically log me in. So now I'm logged in to my website. It is a blank website, so there's nothing on it. The next thing we may need to do is sometimes we have to just click on the home and click back just so that it refreshes and you can now see some extra details. So your dashboard and other things, which will normally be inside of your admin bar, have been decoupled from your WordPress admin and put into side panels that you can easily collapse or expand. 
If I want to collapse the side panel, then at the top of the panel, by the extreme right of that panel, there's a collapse button that can collapse the panel and we can expand it if we want. Then you may want to just open one of the files. So let's say the themes and we can now make sure that everything is opening. So you can see the dashboard, there is some updates. We can go ahead and install the update or not. Then once you've done that, you see a new option popping up called settings. So I'll click on the settings. And the next thing we want to do is install the right place client plugin. That is what will now be able to communicate with your website in a better fashion. So I will install plugin. Once it's installed, you can now see some extra options that pop out on the left side of your panel. And you can go through all of them. The first one basically takes you back to the WordPress website. Then you have the next one to manage your posts. So if you want to manage posts, it shows you all of the posts that have been installed on the website. So every post type, whether it's your posts, your pages, your custom post types, your media, all of those that are stored in the post meta table are shown here. Then we have other options. If you want to create your own plugin, you can create a new plugin here and use your file manager to manage it. The next option is the builder assets. You'd only really see the assets for bricks. So I'll show you with the other websites. So let's go back to the home and I'll connect to another website. Let's connect to that, sign in. Then I'll click on the username I've stored. And for this website, if I go back to those assets, you can see the Bricks Builder assets, so your pages and your templates. Then you can manage other things. So let's go back to the previous website. So now we have two websites that we can just quickly switch between. It looks like your Slack app. So if you are using Slack, this is exactly how Slack app works, where you have multiple Slack workspaces that you can quickly switch between. So that's the same thing. And we can keep going. So let's go to the website that already has things populated. So let's go back to that website. If I go to the media, you can see all of the images that are stored on the website. Plugins takes you to all of the plugins that are installed on the website. And that takes me to the next thing, which is the blueprints. So with these blueprints, you can easily install plugins onto your website. That's how you can manage your plugins. So I'll be showing you two things. First, we'll show you how you can manage your plugins, then how you can manage the licenses for those plugins. So to manage your plugins, I can just simply come and create a new blueprint, which at the top there, plus sign, you create the blueprint. Let's give it a name, maybe testing. Then you go ahead and select the folder. Let me pull it in. So basically you select the folder you want to store all of the files because basically it's going to be storing all of your plugin and theme files into a specific folder. So when I choose that select folder and then create repository, now you can start uploading your plugins and your themes into the folder. So all of the files will be stored on your local device for easy access. If you want to upload a plugin, click on the upload button and you can either drag and drop or you can click and then choose where the file is located and it will be pulled into the folder that you've created. I already have one blueprint site. So if I click on blueprints, you can choose to click on the folder that I've already created and you can see everything. So let's go ahead and cancel. You can see all of the plugins that I've already added as well as the themes I've added. Why is this useful? I can now go back to my other demo website that has nothing and we'll go ahead and choose the plugins and my 
blueprint still remains there. So I can now go ahead and choose the Bricks Croco folder. And I can start installing the plugins that I need. If I choose upload, it installs it. I wish there was a bulk upload. I can just upload all of the plugins at once. At the moment, it is not available. Then you can choose to activate it. Then let's go ahead and install another one. So Bricksforge, upload, and then activate. Okay, so I've activated those two. And you can go on with the other one. So Command UI, same thing, upload, and activate. So let's say you do that for all of your plugins. The next thing you can do now is manage the licenses. So I can come back to my main homepage, go to my plugins, install plugins. You see them, they're also installed there the same way you can manage the plugins from the decoupled section, which is this plugins manager and installed plugins. So you get to see them in both places. So now the plugins are installed. Let's go ahead and also install the theme. So I'll come back to my blueprint, head over to the theme, which is bricks, then install it by uploading. And it has been uploaded. Next one is the child theme. Let's go ahead and upload it as well. And that has been uploaded. And let's go back to the dashboard or the browse. And then I can go to my themes and I'll choose to activate the child theme that has been activated. Now, let's say we want to add the license for all of these. So first for breaks, let me go ahead and activate license and click on the license part. Next is the license manager. So still under the access vault, you can choose to add all of your licenses. So if I say add new license, then I can choose the name of the app and then the license key, give it a description and add it. I already have my license, so let's browse. So I'll go ahead and click on where I need it. Then browse for bricks. You can also use the search if you want. Activate the license. And the status is active. Okay, that's one. And we can do that for the rest of our plugins. So like for my command UI, ACPT, and the rest of them. All I have to do is click on where I want to add the license. Click on the license and the license will autofill in that portion. And then we can go ahead and activate the license. That's how easy it is. The other thing that we can do is be able to manage our media files and our posts. So let's go ahead and see how nicely the posts can be manipulated in right place. So here we are on our second website, which has more information. If we want to manage our posts, we click on the post icon. Then it will show us all of our post types. You can see the posts, the pages, media, templates, because all of these are post types within WordPress. You can see all of them. This is my custom post type called BRF pages. Let me click on it. And I will click on one of the pages. And you can see all of the pages that have been created under that post type. You can see the post title, you can edit the content, the permalink, post status, the category, the tag. These are native WordPress ones, so you can go ahead and hide them because there are no categories and tags connected to that post type. So I can right click and then choose hide column, right click, choose hide column. And you can go ahead and create a view, I believe. So you can create a view and that will now save the view that you've created for further usage, but you can see everything. So post date, post modified date, and you can rearrange them. So if I want to rearrange them, I can just drag and I've rearranged them. So rearrange them the way you want. You can also go ahead and add in some new columns. So yeah, those are just a few features that are available to you in right place. 
you can check out other videos which i will link to in the description for more information if you have any questions any comments please let me know in the comment section and let me know if you would use right place if it is something that fits your need let me know in the comments i'll be watching out for new features that will be added as we go along and once i've been able to test it out a bit more i would also release a different video to cover more aspects like the ai features and so on thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one